Hey guys, welcome to The Trusted Advisor. I'm Wayne Gill, your trusted advisor. This week we're talking about getting started. Now, a lot of you have got an idea in mind. It may be to start a business. It may be to improve on your business. It may be to, I don't know, cut your lawn. I'm not sure what your project is, but sometimes the hardest thing is to get started. And I just want to share with you today three quick ways, three things that you should do, three things that's going to remove the obstacles from you getting started on your goals. I remember some years ago, I wanted to write a book and I had never written a book. So I really had no idea about how to write a book. So what did I do? I went to a seminar and I went to a seminar taught by a guy who had written several books and had been very successful. And he taught me a system of how to write the book. And there is one thing that I will always remember from what that guy said. He walked around the room and the room was full. There had to be at least a hundred people in that room who probably had had books in their head or books stacked up in their drawer somewhere or books that they'd been half written or quarter written over the years that they had never done. And he looked at all of us who were sitting there who had had these ideas but had never done them, never got started. And he said, you know what's the difference between you and all those people that you see, the published authors, I wish you could see my bookcase behind me. I have uh, several bookcases in here. Uh, I read a lot. He said, the difference between you and all those published authors is that they have actually done it. That's the only difference. You're no, they're no smarter than you are. They're no better read than you are. They don't have better ideas than you do. The only thing that they've got that separates them from you is that they did it. And so my friend, I want to encourage you that whatever that thing is that you want to do, that you haven't been doing, that you've been putting off, that sitting in a drawer somewhere that ought to be done, get started. Just get started. You know, it could be messy. It could be something that you think no one would ever like. It could be sloppy, but done is better than trying to be perfect. If I were going to get started, what are three things that I would look out for? Number one, and this is going to be like rocket science, right? Do the thing. Get started. And for some of you who are listening on audio, maybe you can't see me. I'm standing at a whiteboard. But basically, number one point is do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you. Get started. Do like I did. If you don't know what to do, take a course. Get someone who knows what they're doing to show you a model or a way, right? But get started, get out of the gates. The second thing you have to do is get over perfectionism. Perfectionism is a beast, it'll kill you. Because perfectionism says, well, I can't do anything until it's perfect. Or I can't hit the publish button until it's perfect. I'm concerned about what people are gonna think. They're gonna think it's not so good. Or they're gonna think this, or they're gonna think that. Perfectionism will block each and every single dream that you have. It'll block each and every single goal that you're trying to accomplish because it'll never be perfect, right? If you're a believer, we know there's only one who's perfect, right? God himself and his son. And after that, there's no perfection. We all fail, we all mess up. We start and we stumble, we fall down, we miss it. But don't let perfectionism stop you from starting. Get a messy start. As I said before, done, got getting it done is way better than perfect, right? So that's number two. Stop perfectionism. And then number three, get a mentor. Now, a mentor could be a coach. It could be someone who really is a mentor, someone in your field or someone you know who has wisdom. Uh, a trusted advisor, for example, <laughs> that can help you in your pursuit, whatever that may be. But get some coaching. Get someone who knows what they're doing to help you. I'm telling you that a coach it can be a 10x multiplier, a 100x multiplier. If you're trying to do something, you're not sure of the way to, to do it. There's someone who's done this already, right? There's someone who's been down the road you're trying to go down. And that can really just show you a, a, a model or a framework or something you're not thinking of. That's what happened when I went to this course. I want to show you something. These are three books that I've written. And again, if you're on the audio, you know, you're not seeing the books, but I first uh, wrote this book called 
Tales My Grandma Told Me. A few years later, it was a hit. I upgraded it and updated it to this version of it called This Business of Supply Diversity. And then thirdly, I wrote a novel, right? Called The Runner. So all of these books are on sale on, on Amazon. Go look them up and bottom. I've sold literally thousands of these books all together, right? Thousands of copies. But let me show you how it started. It started with a whole bunch of notes. First of all, I kept the materials from the first seminar that I took, right? To actually learn how to do this. And I made notes on little papers and I made drafts upon drafts and I scratched down notes of what other authors did and I created outlines and all of this was all of the brain work that went into that finished product that I just showed you. But you know what? I got started. And what was in, in, in these folders and also in some other folders that's hidden outside of your site right now, just pages and pages of drafts and documents that I did, they all manifested in this beautiful finished product that's on sale today, right? And so what's my point? My point is, friends, you got to get started. You got to just get out the gates. Forget about perfectionism. It's never going to be good enough. You're never going to feel like it's good. I still don't feel like my books are good enough, although I've sold so many of them, right? Like I, I'd love to just do them all over, but they're done. They're done. And lastly, look, if you don't know what to do, there are plenty of mentors out there. Get a mentor. Hit me up in the comments. I'll help you out in whatever your endeavor is. I'd love to help you get started. I'd love to at least share some ideas with you. So do me a favor. Hit like on this video, share it with someone, subscribe to my channel, and also I'm going to put uh, notes in the comments how you can subscribe to my Trusted Advisor newsletter where I share my wisdom that I've learned over 30 years of business, entrepreneurialism, um, uh, in my uh, legal world, um, as a minister and a counselor. I share all that advice in my newsletter, Nothing Held Back. And I hope that I will see you on the next video. Until then, get started.